back to Singapore now, where the education system is providing the country with a quality export product, maths, that is. The Singapore approach to teaching the subject has become so popular that Singapore maths has become a familiar phrase with teachers and students around the world. Melanie Ralph finds out some more about the formula for Singapore's maths success. These students are perfecting their math skills. It's based on number concepts, teaching maths using objects and pictures to help the children understand. The theory they're working from is now being copied across the world. Singapore has been using the method since the 1980s. Part of its success is to move away from rote learning and make the subject fun. I think that's more what Singapore math is all about, you know, is to make a child understand the math concept and love maths and love doing maths. Different attitude. Uh, we make the subject uh, interesting and they can understand it rather than just teaching the facts. Right? So knowledge-based uh, type questions in Singapore, um, it's actually quite rare now. We ask more of understanding and application. Copying Singapore's maths model is one thing, implementing it is another. Maths and science are core subjects here, compulsory in primary and secondary schools. Singapore's teaching methods are also key to educational success by making learning a way of life. Singapore students consistently score well on global maths evaluations. The country topped the ranks in the OECD's triennial survey on international education and now we see other countries willing to buy the secret to Singapore's math success. The UK is just one country adopting Singapore math by spending over $50 million over the next three years to implement it. We are not so focused really on providing the knowledge per se because um, you can't learn everything, you know. Uh, what we want to do is really to, 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 to teach our students the skill sets of inquiry, of asking questions, of wanting to learn, the love and the desire to know more, to learn more, and to be self-directed learners. But some critics say that Singapore's education system needs to look beyond the statistics. Having extra classes outside of school is common in Singapore. On average, students here do between one and two hours of extra maths tuition a week. Taking pressure off children to succeed in math could allow children to think more creatively in other subjects. Thinking outside the box could be the answer for Singapore's economy to help make the sums add up. Melanie Ralph, UTV, Singapore.